this video is on complemented platys and this topic is related to the discrete mathematics and let us discuss the definition of complemented lattice let l join meet 0 comma 1 is a bounded lattice see here 0 is the least element and 1 is the greatest element and it is bounded l is bounded and these are all the relations join and meet and a belongs to l then an element b belongs to l is called the complement of a so b is the complement of a if the condition a join b is equal to 1 and a meet b is equal to 0 if these two holds that we say that b is a complement of a and see here l should be a bounded lattice first of all it should be a bounded lattice and if i take any element a belongs to l then the element b belongs to l is called the complement of a if a join b is equal to 1 and a meet b is equal to 0 a lattice L join meet 0, 1 is called a complemented lattice if every element of L has at least one complement. So each and every element should possess a complement. Then we say that the given lattice is a complemented lattice. See here example. The hash diagram of the lattice is given here. So this is the hash diagram. And find the complement of the elements A, B, C if they exist. Can the lattice be complemented? See here. First of all, the hash diagram is given and it is asked to find out the complements of the elements A, this B, and C. And can the lattice be complemented? See, let's get started. So, given lattice is, the elements of the lattice here are 0, the least element, and 1 is the greatest element. In between, they are A, B, C, D, and E. See here, the L matrix the elements are 0, 1, comma A, B, C, D, E. Here the A greatest element is 1 and the least element here is 0. And see here, so we have to find the complements for A, comma B, comma and C. And let's get started here. This is the hash diagram and using this hash diagram, I have to find out the complements of A, comma B, comma C. So for finding A, comma B, comma C, See here, this is join and this is meet. So, join is nothing but the least upper bound and meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound from this hash diagram. Let's get started. For A, comma A, the upper bound is again A. For A and B, see here, for A and B, the upper bound here is C. For A and C, for A and C, the upper bound here is C. For A and D, see here, for A and D, the upper bound here is D. And see here, for A and E. So, here is A and here is E. So, they both meet at the first point. Here is 1. See here, the point here is 1. Please remember. And the next one here is for B and A. See here, B and A. Where they join here, the upper bound here is C. For B and B, the upper bound here is B. For B and C, see here, for B and C, the upper bound here is C. For B and D, see here, there is B here and there is a D here. The upper bound is nothing but 1. So, they meet at 1. And the next one is B, E. See, coming to B and E, the upper bound here is E. And the next one here, for C, A. See, here is C and here is A. The upper bound is C. And for C and B, for C and B here, the upper bound is again C here. The upper bound is again C. And for C and C, the upper bound is C. For C, D, see here, for C and D, the upper bound is 1. See here, there is 1 here. And the next one, for C and E, there is C here and E here. They meet at a point 1. See here, they meet at a point 1. And next, coming to D and A. So, this is D and this is A. The upper bound here is D for D and B. So, this is D and B. So, they meet at a point 1. So, this is 1 again. So, this is 1 again. And next coming to, coming to D and C. So, this is D and C. So, they meet at a point 1 here. See here, they meet at a point 1 for D and C. They meet at a point 1 and next for D and D. So, the upper bound here is D for D and E. 
so this is d and e they join at a point 1 so this is 1 here and the next one is for e a see here for this is e and this is a they meet at a point 1 see here it's very simple if you see the follow the hash diagram for e and b so this is e and this is b the upper bound here is e and next e and c so this is e and c they meet at a point 1 here so this is 1 and next for e and d so this is e and this is d and they meet at a point 1 and next one for e and e the meeting point here is e and next coming to the greatest lower bound here that is meet so here we have to find the lower bound here for a and a the lower bound is a for a and b the lower bound here is a zero see here this is zero and next one for a and c so this is a and c the lower bound here is a for a and d so this is a and d the lower bound here is a for a and e for a and e so coming to down they meet at a point zero so here is the zero and the next one b so b a so there is b and a the meeting point here is zero so this is uh, nothing but zero for b and b the least point here is b for b and c see here this is b and c the lower element here is b for b and d see here there is b here there is d here coming down they meet they first meet at a point zero and next one for b e so there is b and there is e the lower bound here is b and next one c and a so there is c here and there is a here the lower bound here is a for c b so this is c and b the lower bound here is b for c and c the lower bound here is c for c d for c and d the lower bound here is a so this is a and see for c and e c and e they meet at a point b and the next one d a so there is d and there is a and the lower bound here is a for d and b so there is d here and b here so they join at a point zero they meet at a point zero and next d c so this is d and c so here d and c they meet at a point a so they meet at a point a they meet at a point a and the next one coming to d d so d d the lower bound here is d for d and e so there is d and e the lower uh, lower bound here is a and next one e a so there is e there is a here they meet at a point zero the first meeting point for them is zero and the next one is for e and b so e and b the lower point here is the lower bound here is b for e and c so this is e so this point is e for e and c see here there is e and c the lower bound here is b for e and d for e and d see the lower bound here is uh, zero so this is nothing but zero and for e and e the lower bound here is e see here it's very clear after finding all the uh, the least upper bounds and the greatest lower bounds so we have to check see here what is the complement here see here there is one one a join e is equal to one and a meet e is equal to zero then we say that a is a complement to e and e is a complement to a see here for a what is the complement here e is the complement and next coming to the b side see here there is one here and uh, in the same place we have zero see i'll show you i'll show you there is one here and in the same place we have zero here so for a e will be the complement and see in place of b b d so we have one here and here in same in place we have zero here and for c if you check here for c there is one here and whereas 
there is a here so there is no complement for c so there is one here but there is no zeros and the next one coming to the d here so here is zero and here is one so there is one so from b to d to b there is one here from d to b there is zero here and next coming to coming to this e to a so there is one here e to a and there is a zero here and at the same way for e to d is one and e to d is zero so there are two complements here for e see you can easily find out this one for a the complement is e as it satisfies a join e is equal to one and a meet e is equal to zero next for a we have the complement e and the next one for b see here at d position we have one here and at d position we have zero here so for b what is the complement here so this is d and for c see here there are ones here but there is no zero least element here so there is no complement for c coming to d here there is one here and there is zero so for b what is the complement here what is the complement for b d it is b and the next one coming to e so we can say for a it is one and for a it is again zero therefore for e the complement is a so these are all the complements see here the complement of a is equal to e why because you know that a join e is equal to 1 and a meet e is equal to 0. So, it satisfies the condition. We say that the complement of a is equal to this is e. And next one complement of b is equal to. See here for b. If you check b. So, b join d is equal to 1 and b meet d is equal to 0. Therefore, the condition holds then we say that the complement of b is equal to d. And next complement of c. See here for c c join d is equal to 1 whereas c meet d is equal to a there is no zero here therefore the complement does not exist and similarly for d for d the complement is v and similarly for e the complement here is a it's very clear if you follow this table and this indicates that c has no complement as c has no complement since one element since one of the elements in the lattices has no complements then we say that the lattice is not complemented so each and every element should have a complement then we say that it is a complemented lattice and at least if one element doesn't have a complement we say that the given lattice is not complemented so the given example is not complemented and see this is also so simple if you follow this one if you follow this has diagram and composition table we can easily identify the complements of each and every element at one glance see so this is how we have to solve and hope you all guys got uh, a clear uh, idea and if you really like you know what to do please share it with your friends raise your thumb and i'll be uploading many more re videos related to this series have a look at those please prepare and if you really like please leave a comment thank you so much